This video brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop. Com. Sonic with a K. <laughs> so, Adam Kokesh to possibly march on Washington with a thousand riflemen? That's the plan, according to Salon.com. I'm not sure what to think about this, but I am sure of one thing. I'm sure that we should ask ourselves this question. Are we allowed to speak freely about our opinions on this event? Which may or may not happen. For instance, if you were to say to the world that you supported the event, would you potentially be exposing yourself to some kind of retaliation at the hands of the authorities? This possible occurrence which apparently only will happen if Adam gets 1,000 people to go along with him. This occurrence has some Robert E. Lee undertones in it. That's, I believe, the last guy who marched on Washington with rifles. I'm not a big fan of that guy's politics or his tactics. But it's important not to create a straw man. Uh, the difference is maybe more superficial than real. The problem is, I'm not sure the average American can distinguish. Robert E. Lee crossed from Virginia into Washington. Uh, armed march on Washington. That part is the same as what Adam's planning to do. And he's got a track record of pretty much doing what he says he's going to. And he's been pretty effective down there, you know, I mean, as best you can be when you're dealing with Washington, D.C., an almost immovable object. But anyway, back to the point at hand. Uh, let's say that uh, a person liked his idea and wanted to speak favorably of it. Would it even be, would it even be safe to do so? I will test the envelope and express the parts of the idea that I do like. It seems to be pretty good at getting attention. I mean, I don't think I or most people would even really be talking about it if Adam was planning on doing something else similar to his uh, Washington Jefferson Memorial dance party. Now, that was a very effective piece of civil disobedience, and he got his butt you know, kicked physically by a cop on camera. The video survived. That's a win. It was on, you know, it got quite a bit of coverage. But even that, even such an effective event, I didn't really talk about it that much because it wasn't in New Hampshire. But this is something so uh, audacious that I can't help but talk about it. It's forcing people to talk about it who maybe normally, maybe normally wouldn't talk about what Adam's doing. So that part works, but then you have to game these things out. It's it, it publicity is important, but you have to ask yourself are you are you doing something that will make the authorities look like a douchebag when they attack you for it or are you not in the minds of many Americans should the authorities attack Adam over this it probably wouldn't be that scandalous. Because what he's perceived as doing is a sort of like armed insurrection type thing. It, it, it's complicated. It's not, it may, that may not really be what it is, but it gives the authorities maybe enough rope to hang themselves, or maybe it gives them leeway to crack down. I mean, they can crack the occasional head when someone is doing an illegal dance party. But they can possibly get away with murder if the people they're attacking are marching on Washington with rifles. And the authorities probably won't have to resort to that. They have so many other means at their disposal. If they had a group of a thousand riflemen, they knew where they were. 
They could just tear gas the entire area. Or they could use some of their other more exotic non-lethal weaponry. They could take the uh, Ed Brown retaliation approach when they went after Ed Brown's operation, if you want to call it that. They just took down his four most vulnerable supporters, the ones who had gone furthest out on the limb. Ed Brown, by the way, is the guy who had, you know, a sort of standoff with authorities in New Hampshire for eight months. The feds acted kind of like the Medici. Uh, severe but selective retaliation. They could do that again. This leaves quite a few moves open to them. In theory, Kokesh's move is not aggressive. It's simply, you know, exercising a, a Second Amendment right in D.C. where... DC doesn't respect rights in and of itself. That's peaceful, but again, won't be perceived as peaceful. I was looking at some of the comments uh, on Salon.com, and I actually don't pay super close attention to Salon, but generally, you know, when I look at a mainstream media site, even a liberal site, lately, the trend has been for a lot of comments to be pro liberty. That was definitely not the case on Salon, at least not the sections that I looked at. The public reaction was pretty negative to Adam's plan. So, you know, continuing this whole concept of gaming it out, let's say that uh, this comes forth and Adam gets his thousand people and they do actually try to march in that direction. Let's say the authorities do what civil disobedience is supposed to make them do, and that is overreact. In this case, overreaction would mean killing someone or injuring someone or uh, dragging innocents into it, people who are not connected, you know, by like a lot of house-to-house -house searches or something like that. Let's say it triggers uh, a general escalation and we find ourselves in... I'm not going to, I wouldn't go so far as to use the term civil war, but say there is an increased level of violence that, that takes place against the authorities as a result of them maybe opening fire or whatever. Well, we have to look at what's happened historically in the U.S. when that tack has been taken against the federal government or the British colonial government. In my mind, it's never really been that effective. Uh, because even if you win, if there's a shooting conflict and the liberty side, the liberty leaning side comes out on top, it still doesn't work. Because when you look at the, if you look at the war against the British, the colonials were more liberty leaning and they won, but we really didn't get that much out of it. Independence, yes, but within ten years there had been an effective coup, basically that had restored heavy central control to the colonists. There were shooting wars against the colonists that quickly followed the, the uh, revolution. And this was one of the better revolutions, right? This is one of the least bad revolutions. It didn't work out that well. And all the others have worked out worse. The Civil War, the, uh, the Weather Underground, the, the other 60s radicals. See, nah, nah, not very effective in terms of the long-term benefits to liberty. They did. They, they had some. They had some what you could call tactical successes, uh, guerrilla successes. But their long-term goals. I mean, especially the ones that leaned pro-freedom. No, didn't happen. We have a much worse uh, police state against the young, against leftists, against drug users than we ever had before the Weatherman. Again, I don't want him to build a straw man. Adam's not like the weatherman. But it's just very difficult to make civil disobedience work if it, if it seems like you're the aggressor. And it also is very difficult to make armed confrontation with the authorities work. 
at least if you're doing any of the shooting. Victories can be won, governments can be overthrown, but getting liberty on the other end of it doesn't really happen, not usually. Now, I'll give the other good example, the Irish uh, Civil War and the, uh, the preceding guerrilla war. This was very effectively waged. It was a brilliant campaign. It was very fast. They defeated the British very quickly. But what happened afterwards? Oh, well, they immediately descended into fraternicide. We're supposed to be here to win something for ourselves and our children. Freedom. We're not supposed to just be here to defeat the feds. Oh, I forgot to mention one other thing that I do like about Adam's plan, or at least something that is de-escalatory in nature, is he's indicated that they're going to try to walk across a bridge armed, and they will turn back if they're stopped. So this is an important thing that I kind of glossed over earlier, but that's an indicator that uh, it would be pretty easy for the authorities to actually prevent any of these people from even breaking the law. All they have to do is just close the bridge and set up a cordon, you know, riot police along the bridge, and they can just stand there, and I guess the riflemen will walk up to them and then turn around and walk away. Again, that's what the feds will do if they're wise. But they're not wise. And if they do overreact, this isn't going to have the same kind of effect that an overreaction against lemonade stands or dancing would have had. It will be an overreaction that will get some public support. So, I'm not sure Adam is putting himself in a wise strategic position. But his die is largely cast, and I guess we'll see what the number comes up as. Oh, something else. An event like this leaves itself wide open to a an agent provocateur. All the feds would have to do is get one or two of their guys into the supposedly pro-gun crowd and start shooting, blaming it on the crowd. That's another bad thing about the idea. But then the, uh, uh, there was something good, though, that I was thinking about it. Oh, well, uh... I will admit this. When I was uh, first looking at this, you know, Obama gun attack on gun rights and stuff, I felt like maybe the public response was a little more tepid than I would have wanted. Yes, there were some rallies. Yes, there were some people running around with rifles. But I didn't initially feel like there was as much of a pro-gun backlash as I would have expected. Now, ultimately, the pro-gun backlash apparently was effective enough to get the job somewhat done, but I certainly was out there pining for more uh, peaceable backlash. And I guess this does count as more backlash. Again, just won't be perceived as peaceable. By large numbers of Americans, it won't. This video brought to you by Sonic Hip Hop dot com. Sonic with a K. <laughs> Hip hop and urban media production for the Liberty community. Vids, graphics, top quality tunes. The humble Riddler Report can't even begin to do justice to their quality. So check them out where they are. Sonic Hip Hop. Dot com, Sonic with a K. <laughs>